Hi guys, it's Barbara with Cancer Cancer Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below the video. Guys, I am doing a giveaway um, at the end of the month. If you're interested in getting a 15 minute reading, it will be a video recording. Uh, enter a um, positive comment, affirmation, or what you're doing for the summer, followed by the word reading in the comment section and you are entered to win. Um, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading or anything else, you're gonna find it listed in the description box below. So let's get into this, Cancer. Let's get into this. Also guys, um, the link for my Etsy store is in the link um, in the description box if you're interested in my tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot. Let's get into this for Cancer. You got Soulmate. And you got lighthearted, adapt, finding out, and change, things coming to light. Hmm, you might find out some stuff about your soulmate. You got lesson under the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got for cancer? Got a victory here. It's illuminating a victory. Whatever you're finding out about your soulmate is bringing you a victory. Give me all 12 signs starting with Aries. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, there's, you got a victory recovering something. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they're cutting off communication. If you're dealing with a Gemini, um, they're offering something to you or apologizing to you, Cancer. If you're dealing with another Cancer, I feel like they're emotional, emotionally communicating. They want to start over, a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Virgo, somebody is uh, very guarded and defensive and they're, they're mad. They're on the guard and they're mad. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're wishing for a relationship. If you're dealing with a, Ge uh, with, with a Gemini, with a Libra. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're trying to balance something between Libra and the Queen of Pentacles. They're trying to, you're trying to be patient or you're trying to find peace or balance between this you and another person if you're dealing with a scorpio they got their eye on you in divine timing if you're dealing with a sagittarius someone wants to reconcile with somebody from the past if you're dealing with a capricorn they have options or you could have an opportunity with them. It could be either way. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, there's a truth about the betrayal. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, someone's trying to stand their ground in justice or block justice. Okay, so let's get into this. You're gonna find out, something's gonna come to light about your, about your partner, your, twin flame, whatever the case may be here. Um, and it's going to illuminate a victory for you. <clears throat> I feel like somebody wants to reconcile and have a new beginning in love with you. They've made a decision because of some deception and betrayal. And mind games and manip this is a lot of drama. You've got a lot of drama happening here, Cancer. This person has decided that they want to reconcile with you. They've made a decision because of somebody's deception, betrayal, and their drama. Their strife, their jealousy, their competition, their drama. In divine timing, there's healing. There's healing and a victory. Somebody is going to communicate that they have cut somebody out. They apologize for walking away from their partner. Because of an argument, they moved on to something that was hidden, the third party. 
a hidden third party. Now, I feel like this person's going to tell you this is exactly what this is saying. This is your victory right here. And they're communicating that they've cut something out. So this is what you're finding out. And they're apologizing from walking away from your relationship uh, because of a fighter argument. Um, it could have been a family situation. It could have been a, a family fight, whatever the case may be here. Um, they ran off to something that was hidden, which is a third party. You're going to find out all of this. This is what's coming to light for you. I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, so it's, you know, I feel like okay, somebody was sabotaging something, mirroring each other. Um, I feel like but they were sabotaging. They were sabotaging whatever you were trying to to do it's like you were persistent in rebuilding but they were sabotaging both of you may have been in that same mindset so you both are in that connection is deep so every time somebody tried to sabotage or break it down you both were in the same mindset to fix it somebody was obsessed with money now you got somebody who was obsessed with money now this could be that third party that was hidden tell me what does cancer need to know So you're looking back at past mistakes had to do with a new passionate beginning. You were unhappy about this cancer. You were very unhappy about this. Um, I feel like there was a lot of drama here with a third party. And you were left out in the cold. Because this person took that leap. And they resisted you getting justice in a situation. There's that sabotage right there. Looking at this new passionate beginning, you're angry about this because of all the drama with this third party. They were left out in the cold. This person was playing mind games and manipulating the situation, so you weren't talking about the burden. Um, it's almost like manipulating, uh, there being no, no communication about the burden. See, this is the sabotage and rebuild, right? This person was trying to manipulate it so where you guys wouldn't talk about the burden and try to fix the situation. I feel like your partner's going to rush back towards this, this relationship in divine timing. Uh, they're under the bottom of the deck. They're cutting out whatever was hidden. So they're cutting out that third party. That third party, they're going to catch on real quick that that third party's up to no good. There are some manipulated people out here. I'm just telling you. Okay, what else we got? Yeah, see, there's a big difference here. <laughs> somebody has hidden intentions though they may be bringing you a gift being all lovey-dovey having you know passion i feel like this is your partner trying to sneak back in it's what it looks like to me like someone's being sneaky here little slick willy going to come in with gifts and love bomb you so you're going to be doing some thinking about this new beginning in love. The harsh truth is, is this is your wish fulfillment that you've been waiting for. Even though it's been hard, you've been heartbroken here. Um, heartbroken over an ending and you want to move forward, right? Pre Empress, you're wanting to move forward. I feel like you have some regrets. You're at a crossroads about the partnership. Maybe it's them. Somebody here is obsessed with having a commitment. So I feel like this person coming towards you is coming towards you, you know, being sneaky, but they want to bring in a gift. They're, they're trying to get their foot in the door no matter what. This person's trying to get their foot in the door. And I feel like this is them being very loving and kind. They're passionate about this. Um, you're in this queen of swords mode. You're in this queen of swords mode. You're in that. You better come at me correct. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. So, um, guys, I think I'm going to take this to the extended so I can find out whether or not you're going to take this person back. So if that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay blessed.